One of my favourite baits for wintertime is maggots. When used in conjunction with a PVA bag, I've caught lots of big fish. I, I like to put a big bed of maggots out, fish a PVA bag over the top, so when it breaks down, I've got a lot of maggots all around my hook bait, and I've caught tons of big carp in winter from doing that. One of the main attractions of using it is winter. A, the carp can digest the maggots really well, really quickly, so they can keep troughing and keep eating it and passing it through and digesting it. And the second part of it is the silverfish. You don't get hammered by silverfish in winter, whereas in summer, if you were to put out maggots, you're probably going to draw, draw in a lot of roach and bream and other species into your swim, which isn't ideal when you're trying to fish for the carp. So I'm going to talk you through my rig, how I set it up and how I fish it inside the PVA bag. If we take a look at my rig, I've got a size seven super specialist barbel hook. It's super duper sharp, nice thin wire gauge, so I can thread maggots onto the hook without bursting them too much. I've got a little bit of plastic bloodworm, just threaded up the shank of the hook. That just, just helps disguise the hook and just gives it a bit of color and attraction. I fish it to a 15 pound supple sink link braid through to a three and a half ounce inline lead with, with my lead core leader. That's, that's the basic setup. I'll talk you through how and what bait I put on it. All I'm gonna do is I've got my maggot mix below me in a bucket. I like to have a good mixture of colors, but I do like to slightly outweigh the colors with a few extra reds. Red seems to be my favorite color with the maggots, so I always stick a few extra pints of reds in. All I'm gonna do is thread two or three maggots on the hook. Try and just nick them They've got a flat end and a pointy end. All you want to do is get the flat end and just nick them onto the hook. And there we have my setup. Nice and simple, two maggots on a big hook. Once you hook the fish, they're going to be absolutely nailed and you're going to get them in. Perfect presentation. The next thing I'm going to do, prepare it to go inside a PVA bag. Where you've hooked the maggots, you get a little wet patch where you've just popped them. So all I'm going to do so I've got a bit bag of maize flour, which you can get from your local tackle shop. Just dip your maggots in there, dip your rig in there, dip your whole setup in there, the leads, just to dry it off. That takes away all the moisture, because the last thing you want to do is get moisture inside your PVA bag, because it will dissolve. On this occasion, I'm going to use a small, mini, plain PVA bag. I do use various size PVA bags. I use, sometimes use bigger ones if I'm fishing closer in but this is the main one I use, the mini one. To start off with, all I'm gonna do is put my hook bait into the bottom of the bag first. All nice and dry. Just slip the lead into there and I'm gonna lay the hook bait flat against the bottom of the bag. Just blow it to open it up. My hook bait's nice and flat. I'm now gonna take some of the maize flour, just put it into the bag. I need to make sure that where the maggots are popped, I need to keep the bottom of the bag dry. Also, what I don't want is when I'm just about to put some maggots in, what I don't want is them wriggling around and penetrating on the hook points. So the maize flour just covers the hook and stops them wriggling maggots from penetrating the hook point. So I'm now gonna take a few handfuls of maggots, just keep feeding them into the bag. A nice wriggly, live as you can see, the more reds. I prefer the reds. Just keep feeding them in. You want to fill the bag about three quarters full. And then all you want to do is just, just work your lead into it and then give it a quick top up again. And the bag's starting to take shape. You can see all the maize flour in the bottom. You can see the maggots wriggling around. Just twist the top. And what I do, I just squeeze it and squeeze the air out. Just squeeze a bit of the air out and you can see it's coming nice and compact. And then take a bit of PVA tape, just wrap it around a couple of times, once, twice, and just finish it off as I would do with any PVA bag. Just tie an overhand knot twice. And then trim it all, all the PVA off, excess PVA, just trim it all off nice and neat. Get rid of all the excess. And there we go. My hook bait's nice and in the bottom, in amongst all the, all the dust, which is when the bag breaks down, the dust will just disperse 
and you'll have a nice bed of maggots with a hook bait in the middle. All I'm going to do now is just lick the seam, fold it over just to make it aerodynamic. Again, I can cast this PVA bag in excess of 100 yards. And one of the main advantages of it is, unlike some of the other setups with the maggots, your hook bait is inside the bag. So when, when it hits the water, your hook bait isn't going to be smashed on top of the water. And sometimes what can happen with the maggots is they can be stripped off the hook on impact with the water. But with this, they're inside the PVA bag, so you're not going to have that problem. Then I'm just going to push the corners in, give it a quick lick, fold it over. Again, this is making it even more aerodynamic. Do the same with the other corner, push it in, lick it over. There we have it, the finished bag. So when you chuck that out, you're going to have a nice little patch of maggots with a nice double maggot hook bait.